Hello, welcome to this video. Okay, um, I want to be super honest and explain you why I'm doing this video. The truth is that I never recommended these tools before. I always thought that people were just recommending them because they were affiliates, but they are not that useful. And I didn't want to pay extra for my Etsy store to just for SEO tools or things like that. But the truth is that when I was planning my Etsy training, the one that it's called Sell Digital Products on Etsy, I received a message from Sell Samurai and they were offering me free access and to become an affiliate. So before promoting it and before sharing it with anybody, I just went inside and I checked it by myself. And oh my God, I got so, so, so surprised because I wasn't expecting to like it that much. So in that training, in the Sell Digital Products on Etsy, I'm teaching how to use Sell Samurai, but I decided to do this video also because if you are not in my training, it's something you may consider. And I know there are not a lot of reviews out there about Sell Samurai. So hopefully this video will give you my honest review and I will share with you what I like and what I don't. Okay, so before starting, just as a reminder, I'm Claudio Orengo, I'm a graphic designer, and I tutor other people how to sell their products online and how to make a living from their talents. So now we're inside Sell Samurai, okay? And you can join through my link. Uh, I'll leave it down in the description, and I will also give you a 20% discount code. The first thing I don't like about Sell Samurai, and this is how I will start, it's that it, they only give you three days for free as a trial. So I decided to do this video, although their tutorials, they are great. And that's the first place I would recommend anyone to go just to avoid you spending too much time learning how to use the tool. OK, so you can learn it now before applying. You can test it during those three days. And if you decide that's the tool you want to keep, then I think it costs around $10 per month, which is not a lot, I know, but still, if we need to be paying all these to all the tools, I know. Um, okay, so the first section I want to talk to you about, it's this search icon here. You can search through listings and just use the basic, the basic search. The basic search is what I'm gonna start with. So you can type here the type of products that you sell, okay? In my case, let's say, uh, let's search for seamless pattern and see what happens. So we press search, it takes a little bit to give us the results, but you will see how much information it gives us. Okay, here we have it. So the first column, it gives us tags. And these tags are the tags that are most used on the top products that they found, okay? So as you can see, seamless pattern, it's on the top. Then we have digital paper, seamless patterns, digital papers, commercial use, scrapbook paper, etc. This heart that you see here, it's because I liked this tag and I saved it. So every time you like one of the tags, you can save it for your record. And you have pages here, okay? Now, moving to the right column, what you have here, it's a grade for your keyword, depending on if it's long tail or not. This case, in this case, it's long tail, so it's ticking a tick for this. The search volume, it's not very high, and the competition, it's super high. So that's definitely not a good keyword to rank for. Um, then they have this suggestion tab here. And this is where you can start investigating what they recommend you and see if something applies to your products and you can check those wordings too. But let's move to the next area. Here, which is what I love the most, they are showing you the most successful products. So these are the top products. You have a list, you can go through it and you can decide how many entries you want to see. And then they tell you the price. If there are shipping days, in this case, since I'm always thinking about digital products, there are no shipping days because it's digital and it's immediate. Um, but then they also tell you the views, the photos they have these products and the likes they are getting. Here, there is an average. I honestly don't think that's important, but they also give you this information. What happens is that when you see one of these products and you think, oh, I could create this, or this seems like something I'm doing, let's compare it to mine. 
Okay, the first thing we see is this product, it's super cheap. But let's go to this one that it costs a little bit more. And you can open this, I will open it in a new tab, and you can see the product, okay? What else? Um, I think if you click here, you will go inside Sell Samurai, and it will give you more details, exactly. So, it's telling us the full title of this product, the description, it also tells you in which section they are adding it, um, the title character, so all the information that basically it's like you can investigate your competitors and you can see what they are doing and what you can apply from what they are doing. Um, you have all the details here, the last time they, they published it or modified it, how many views it has, um, and all the text they are using. Okay, so that's, that's fantastic when you don't know where to start or when you see a product that it's not being as successful as you wished, you can go find something similar that it's in the top sellers and see what they are doing differently. And finally, here you have the images, so you can also see all their images. Okay, coming back to the search, if we scroll more down, we have a price spread. And in this case, there are not a lot of variety. We can see that most of them, they are in this range. But if we select and drag, it will amplify and it will tell us how many products there are under each one of the price ranges. And I also think this is super helpful because many of my students are always struggling to, de to decide the pricing. And obviously we can go one by one on Etsy or do a research and add some numbers and calculate the average. But this tool is giving it just in a few seconds. So that's very, very handy. Okay, what else do we have here? Under shops, you can connect your store and see your stats. Okay, so it's gonna give you all the information that you need um, about your shop. You can connect as many shops as you want. Basically, um, I don't use that as much. What I use the most is the search and the competition tracker. Here in the competition tracker, I only have three, but you can have as many as you wish. And what you can do is you can search keywords, add them to your uh, favorites, as you saw at the beginning, and you can follow the stats of this keyword, okay? So it's gonna give you uh, information. And the same with shops, you can spy your competitors. And if you go under details, it's gonna tell you how many sales they have done every day, how many likes they have had, and how many active listings do they have. Look at that. I think it's amazing and it's super interesting when you are starting to have all of that in one place. What else? Um, we have the favorites, as I was telling you, I had this favorite keyword and we can see the search volume, we can see the related um, keywords. And finally, there is this tool, the calendar, which I think is amazing because it happens to me many times that I don't know what to paint. So let's imagine it's now July. So let's think, okay, what would I paint if I wanted to sell it in two months? I usually recommend between one and three months to create a new pr uh, product. So before the, if there is a specific holiday like Christmas, do not create it a week in advance because there will be no time for that product to get enough traffic and sales. But Three months up to one year, it's fine. But usually between three and one month, it's the best moment when people are starting to search and are interested on buying these types of products. So let's go two months ahead and they are explaining us all the unofficial holidays, the German holidays, the United Kingdom holidays and the United States holidays. So you can see that there is in United States, Labor Day, um, in Germany, the German World, Ch World Children's Day. Um, but also there is the Fight Procrastination Day. So maybe, or the Salami Day, maybe I decide to paint something about Salami because in two months it's a Salami Day. So I think that's very, very interesting to have this calendar handy to get ideas on what to paint next. Um, then there is also a Chrome extension. So when you go to Etsy, let's go here. 
you can use the Chrome extension here and you can start searching. Okay, the first thing you want, if you search here, let's say watercolor. Here in blue, you will see it appears something that you probably don't have and it's because you don't have this extension, okay? It's telling us how much search volume and how many other related tags there are. So let's open watercolor clip art, which applies to me. On more, it will open this. So it's the extension, the same as if I were clicking here. Now, what it's giving us, it's all the information about watercolor and related wording. As I see here, there is not a lot of search volume and there is a lot of competition. So we want to look for things that have high search volume and lower competition. For example, this one, cacti watercolor clip art. And I actually have cactus. So instead of using the word cactus, I would have to change it to cacti watercolor clip art. And then when we click, we see all the results. This is super helpful. And in my case, if I were to um, upload my cactus here, I would change the name to Cacti Watercolor Clip Art and then I will get much more chances to get found. So basically, this is my review about Cell Samurai. As you can see, it's helpful if you are starting, it's helpful if you have been selling on Etsy for a while, it's helpful if you have been having a shop but you don't have enough sales to see what you can change. It's amazing to spy your competitors. It's great to take decisions like what to pay next, what to, how, how should you price it? Um, which category should you list your product on? So all those things are things I like. The main thing I don't like is that they only give you three days for a trial, but I definitely recommend it. Just try it use it as you can see if that's something you want to have for a while and use my discount as i was saying um the discount code is hard made all in caps and it's important because it's cap sensitive so i will leave all the details on the description you will have my affiliate link and you can use that discount code and yes hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments if that was helpful if you will try it if you have tried it and you have any comments and experience with Sal Samurai, I love hearing from you. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more.